hello, my name is uh, Gregory Kaltzas and uh, I work in the National University uh, of uh, Athens and I'm going to talk today about the epidemiology of neuroendocrine uh, tumors. Uh, these neoplasms is a diverse group of um, tumors that can arise from virtually any tissue in the human body and originate from the cells of the diffuse endocrine system. These cells have the opportunity and the capability of uh, synthesizing and secreting uh, bioactive compounds, uh, which can cause clinical syndromes and then are called functional neoplasms or tumors, but the majority of them are non-functional because they are not associated with a distinct clinical syndrome. The last decades, there is increasing interest in these uh, neuroendocrine tumors, particularly the ones that are originating from the gastrointestinal system and the lung. This is because uh, there have been some ratification of the classification systems that have been used to define these neoplasms as long as clarify their prognosis. Currently, there is an estimation that these neoplasms account for about 5 out of 100,000 new cases per year, which is much greater and uh, than incidence than it used to be before. And currently, they are considered particularly the gastrointestinal neuroendocrine tumors to be the second most common tumors of the gastrointestinal system after the large uh, bowel uh, adenocarcinomas. Uh, however, although there has been this increase in incidence, it's not clear if this reflects a true incidence of these neoplasms or this is um, a result of the more extensive and sophisticated investigations that are undertaken currently as screening tests, particularly the several endoscopies and uh, um, CT scans of the abdomen. So uh, now what you can see is that uh, there is a step increase of this neoplasm. In addition, there is no increase in all the other neoplasms that they are estimated, and this is coming from the SEER database of the United States. But this is not only reflected in the United States because uh, there is some further increase in other countries and uh, in Europe and other parts of the world, and particular for the ones that they originate for the uh, pancreas, it's about sevenfold increase. However, there is an increase in the tumors that are also originated from the gastrointestinal system following endoscopies. And as you can see in the SEER database, there is a step increase from the small intestinal neuroendocrine tumors then followed by the ones that are originating from the rectum, and then the ones that are originated from the pancreas. There are some specific features of these neoplasms that we have to look for. And uh, as you can see, regarding the sex, there is an increase in both sexes that there's not much difference between men and women. And uh, regarding race, there is an increase in all races, particularly the white population, the black population, the Asian population. And uh, however, there is a difference regarding the origin of these uh, tumors, irrespective of, of the uh, race. So there is a more steep increase in the ones that are originating from the small intestinal and the lung in the white population, where in the uh, Afro-Caribbean population, in the Asian population, are the ones that are originating from uh, the rectum. There are some other differences as well, because it was noted that although the incidence of small intestinal and neuroendocrine tumors in the Asian population is relatively low, when this um, populations uh, migrate to other countries, particularly the West uh, countries, the West civilization countries, there there's a twofold increase in their incidence. So this highlights there are some other uh, epidemiological factors that they can affect their incidence as well. So regarding what type of tumors uh, are we recognizing now, as you can see in this um, slide on the left, there is an increase uh, in incidence in the ones that they are localized. When we mean localized, they just uh, locate it under the tissue of origin. They're not extending into the original leaf nodes or they have distant metastasis. And the ones that uh, they are recognized are the ones that are of low malignant potential. And do we define low malignant potential by looking at the um, KI67 label index by immunochemistry, which reflects the tumors that they replicate during the cell cycle. And of course, this reflects to the prognosis as well, because since the ones that they are increasing in incidence are the localized ones and the low malignant potential ones, then the metastatic ones remain stable. Therefore, the incidence increases, but the malignant potential does not decrease, so prognosis is relatively good. So in conclusion, the net incidence is increasing, and this mainly reflects localized of relative low-grade neuroendocrine tumors. 
There are differences in sites of origin according uh, to regions and races. However, it's not clear if this increased incidence reflects a true increase, uh, increase or a secondary to the detections methods in play. Thank you very much for your attention.